I'm hoping you clicked on this video because you got a problem. And your problem is you want to get invested in a short-term rental property business, right? You want to get your money out there into the short-term rental space. You're like, dude, I want me some Airbnb. I want me some Verbo. I want me some passive cash flow from this short-term rental property business that's taking the country by storm, right? It's an emerging business, and I see a lot of money. But, but, I can't afford it. Properties where I live are expensive. I don't have enough money to jump into the game, right? To jump into these vacation rental properties. I hope that's your problem. Please, tell me that's your problem. Why? Because I... I have the solution, and I'm going to give it to you right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am James Wise, and I help solve problems. I help solve problems for real estate investors. Real estate investors like my dude, Michael. Michael lives in an area where the real estate is too expensive for him to start a short-term rental property business, okay? Perhaps, perhaps that is similar to you folks out there, right? You see, that's what I do. I do customized shows like this for everyday folks and help get them into the real estate investments that will help them accomplish their goals. Now, this show is for you, Michael. We're going to go over a property. It's in the Ohio area, right, northeast Ohio, okay? This is going to be a great short-term rental because it's in a tourist area, right? A lot of people are like, well, people go to Ohio on vacation. Yeah, it's not Miami, but guess what? It's also not priced like Miami, okay? As a matter of fact, the down payment on this is only going to be 68 k right? You put the, uh, the all the furnishings and whatnot on a credit card, we're literally talking about getting you into an investment here for 68 k right? So Michael's like, hell yeah, let's do that. And guess what? Michael doesn't have to travel to Northeast Ohio because my team does that, right? So we're going to go over that investment, how the whole thing's going to work, the market, the draw, uh, regulations, the whole shebang. I'm going to do it all for Michael here shortly. So if you're out there and you're also looking to get into Airbnbs, but you can't afford it where you live and you're interested in working with me like Michael, getting a video like this, uh, under the video, you can click the show notes and book a free consultation on the phone with my team and we'll walk you through it because I sent this video to Michael privately months ago, folks. So the property I'm going to go over, it's uh, 5989 Montauk, real property. It was available at the time I filmed this. Uh, no longer the case. I only published this stuff on Holton Wise TV uh, after the fact, so you don't want to like email us like, "Oh, buy Montauk." It's not available. And if you send us an email saying you want to buy it, I know you're an idiot because I'm telling you right now, you're it's not available. So like, you know, we're probably not even gonna call you back because we think you're stupid. So don't be stupid, okay? Pay attention. But you click that uh, note below. You book a free call. I'll start working with you in real time like I'm doing with Michael on properties that actually are available. And guess what? The property I'm going over today, it's in a brand new development. So there's a ton of these being built right now. And I think it's a great opportunity for short-term real estate uh, investors who want to get into the business, get a luxury rental, get brand new construction, and do so at a fraction of the cost of what they would pay in their home market. But I need to make you an expert in this market. You should never buy if you don't know what's going on. And my job starts with teaching you what goes on. And Michael, I'm doing all that for you right after this quick break. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Now, we're going to be doing some vacation rental action, right? Islands, okay? We're going to the islands, folks. We're going to the islands, right? This property 
is something uh, that is going to probably surprise a lot of you. I think a lot of you out there, when you think about this real estate market, the Cleveland market, you're not thinking about something like this, okay? But that's what we do here on Holton Wise. We cut through the BS and really give people like you an on-the-ground experience, right? We are your on-the-ground team, no matter where you live, right? Because investors from all over the world reach out to my company because not only do we give you guys education and present to you properties like this that are going to be highly profitable cash flow investments, my team works on your behalf to handle everything, right? Property management, maintenance, construction, right? You need a new roof? We got you. You need a toilet replaced? We got you. Property insurance? Yeah, right there. Sales at Holden Wise. You don't even have to buy through us. If you're out there and you own a rental property anywhere in the state of Ohio and you'd like to save money on your rental property insurance, shoot us an email. We could probably do that because all we do is work with real estate investors. So we pitch it around other companies, get you guys the best rates. This is what we do, folks. $200 million in sales, biggest on-the-ground team. That's why people from all over the world come to us. And we give you guys the insight, the expertise into these markets you never would have thought of. People come to the Cleveland market uh, primarily because they're looking for like low income section eight investing, right? Like duplexes that sell for a hundred grand and rent for fifteen hundred. You slap some section eight tenants in there. We do a lot of that, thousands of those, right? But we also work in the short term rental property market, okay? And you know where you don't want to buy a short term rental property? You don't want to buy a short term rental property uh, in the city of Cleveland in an area where I got like fifteen duplexes on the street and I'm renting them all to section eight tenants. That is not a money maker, right? But that is not fully encompassing of the Cleveland market, right? This city right here, Vermilion, Ohio, okay, this property, $281,900. This is a brand new property, 5989 Montauk, okay? Look how nice this property is. Brand new construction, okay? Beautiful property. You will be living it, you know, luxury, lavish, right? Like, you don't have to worry about repairs. Totally turnkey. It's brand freaking new, right? This is amazing. Who doesn't love this, right? Okay? It's obviously very, very nice. And this is out in Vermilion, probably like 45 minutes west of Cleveland. And this is in a vacation market, right? People do vacation in Cleveland. We do have vacation attractions, okay? This, this is right by the lake in the islands, okay? That's the draw here, all right? That is the draw. We are right here on Lake Erie, okay? Vermilion is a nice little vacation town because you are right next to the lake, a lot of boaters, a lot of people in and around Northeast Ohio. If they have, uh, you know, their boats docked, they have them out in places like this because you're right there, a short ride uh, to put in bay kelly's island right these are tourist areas right these two islands are just huge party islands okay like this is what you do you get yourself one of these bad boys you get out there you go for a day on the islands all kinds of bars and just fun good time right put in bay has got like a mardi gras feel to it kelly's island's a, mo a little more family friendly but they got a great vibe too right you got lons's winery you got so much good stuff out there right so vermilion if you're looking at cleveland the cleveland market on a national scale you probably never heard of vermilion you're probably not thinking of it but we got a lot of great stuff happening out there it's a nice little area that probably not a lot of people on a national scale know, but a lot of people are aware that if you want to do some good times, have some good times, do some partying, do some tourism in the Cleveland area, a place like Vermilion is perfect. So that's perfect for short-term rentals. In addition, right, to Lake Erie, the boating, the islands, we're right down the freaking, freaking highway from Cedar Point, one of the largest uh, amusement parks there is. Myself, personally, I hate roller coasters, but hey, a lot of other people love that stuff, right? So you got the amusement parks, the islands. This is a perfect, okay, perfect vacation area in the, the neighborhood. This is not like a crime, high crime red neighborhood, right? This is a whole brand new complex, okay? 
And the reason I chose this property and I chose this complex is twofold, right? This uh, housing development, right? Because this is the thing, folks. What happens with all these new housing developments, okay? When you get all these brand new houses, you know, cluster type houses, little McMansion kind of houses, what do you got to deal with? You got to deal with the dreaded HOA, right? The HOA, right? You get those people driving around their golf carts telling you you can't paint your mailbox that color, right? When we're trying to invest in short-term rental properties, regulation is always a thing looming, right? So when you get in an area with an HOA, the HOA is probably going to hammer you, right? Many HOAs make short-term rental properties uh, illegal. You can't do it. Well, guess what? This property has no HOA. The entire development is an HOA less, HOA less, is that how I want to say that? HOA less development, right? Very infrequently can you get in to new construction developments with nice suburban houses like this, especially in a touristy area like this, and not have to deal with HOAs. That's why this is a very, very special deal, right? I showed you the photos. Let's see what the uh, listing agent and the seller had to say about their property. Okay. Want to buy a new build home but don't have the time to wait for it to be built? Well, here is your answer. Beautiful four-bed, two-and-a-half bath colonial situated in Lighthouse Estates with no HOA! Wow, bam! That's what I'm talking about, baby! No HOA just makes me want to jump on this right away, man! The exterior has immense curb appeal with flagstone siding and moon rock shake accents. Luxury vinyl flooring throughout the open floor layout and honey beige carpeting run through the entire upstairs. Soft close cabinets, stainless steel appliance and appliances and beautiful grade countertops make the kitchen an absolute dream. All bathrooms also feature granite countertops as well as fiberglass tub and shower units. Master suite feels incredibly large with high ceilings. Large master bath with soaking tub and a huge master closet. The other bedrooms share a beautiful full bathroom and smack dab in the middle. Of it all, you have a second floor laundry with washer and dryer included. Home is energy efficient, 92% efficient. Goodman furnace, high efficiency, 50-gallon hot water tank, and 13-seer AC unit. Unfinished basement is perfect for your finishing touches. Uh, we're probably not going to finish that, though, guys. I don't think we need to. I don't think uh, at this point it would make sense. Now, you own this thing for five, seven years, maybe 10 years, and then we think about reselling it. Yeah. Might want to throw 50K in the basement and resell this, right? I think this is going to be an appreciating area. Might really capture some big time profits on resale. But right now, as a short term rental, I don't think we need to worry about that, okay? All mechanicals located on one side of the basement, which is very convenient for when you're finishing it, right? Uh, behind, enjoy, uh, behind, enjoy the privacy of a wooded tree line separating the home from the street behind. You won't want to miss out on this one. Schedule your appointment today. Also, professional landscaping company just completed hydro seeding uh, the lawn, so you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a yard, right? In springtime, right? Again, uh, as I talk to you folks, we're coming right off of Christmas, so it's cold right now. So there ain't no grass there right now, but. Uh, come springtime, we're going to have some grass, and we're going to have a lot of people uh, trying to do some vacationing, doing some partying, and having a good time, right? So uh, here's what we got. Love the area. Love the draw. Love the building. Beautiful building. Not going to deal with a lot of repairs. But none of that, none of that should matter to you if it doesn't make money. So let's talk about the numbers, okay? Now, with this property, I believe we should be able to rent it for an average of three seventy-five a night, Okay. Now, that would be $11,625 a year in rent, $139,500 in rent. Now, don't fall off your chair. Don't drop your iPhone. Personally, I'm an Android guy, by the way. I don't, I don't really like iPhones. I like Android. But that has nothing to do with this property. You're not really going to get $11,625 in rent, folks. That's not going to happen. It's a short-term rental property investment, right? We're not doing... <laughs> Uh, short-term rentals and getting 100% occupancy. That would be insane. If anybody out there is on a YouTube video or a Facebook video or a TikTok telling you you're going to get 100% occupancy at their short-term rental, they either have no idea what they're doing or they are just simply lying because that is not practical. So we're going to factor in a 38% vacancy. All right? So 11625 if it was rented all the time. But that's not practical, so we factor in that vacancy, as well as all the other costs associated with running this property, right? 
you could invest in this wherever you are, and my team handles everything, right? Of course, you got to pay us to do all that. So these are your uh, typical expense estimates. So at the end of the day, your true profit should be in the neighborhood of 4311 a month, right? That's Fifty one grand for the year. Now, they are asking two eighty one nine. It's an incredibly nice area, a brand new home. Who wouldn't love this? You're not only competing with uh, the investment buyers out there, but you're going to be competing with actual owner occupant buyers. Right. A lot more owner occupants live here than renters. Right. So we're going to need to make a strong offer. Two seventy five is what I believe we need to offer. And we don't have to do any repairs, but we are going to have to furnish the sucker. Right. Hold Wise will be able to provide you a completely itemized list, right, of all the furnishings we're going to want to put in this, right? I'm talking 55 inch smart TVs in the bedrooms, right? I'm talking a 70 in the living room, beds, couches, blender, right? You can't make a margarita without a blender, folks. The whole shebang. Grill in the backyard. We do it all. We set it all up for you. Hook the the guests up on Wi-Fi, right, so they could go there, use their own Netflix, use their own Hulu, use their own Disney Plus for the kids, man. Do it all. Which, by the way, I got a little gripe here. Got a little gripe. Got a little gripe about Netflix and Hulu, right? Well, it's not really a gripe about Netflix and Hulu. It's a gripe about Hulu, and it's a hell yeah about Netflix. Now, truth be told, I actually watch Hulu more than I watch Netflix. So that's cool on Hulu, but here's the deal. The other day, uh, just before Christmas, found out we had a fraudulent charge on my uh, personal credit card there, so had to cancel that card, get a new card ordered. Has not come in the mail yet, and uh, Hulu and Netflix both came up upon uh, my billing cycle. And you know what Netflix did? They said, hey, dog, there's a problem with your card. You want to update that? And it gives you the option to hit not now or update it. I can't update it yet because I haven't got my new card yet, but they still allow me to watch TV. I don't know how much longer I'm going to get, but they're giving me that little buffer. Hulu, they just cut it off just like that out of nowhere. No warning. I'm upset. I was actually in the middle of watching this sweet show. Uh, it was something. It was called uh, City of Angels, City of Death. It's about a whole bunch of serial killers uh, in the Los Angeles area in the 1970s. Very cool show. It's like a six-parter. I was on, like, episode two, and it just got, you know, cut off. I was upset. None of that has anything to do with this video per se, but, you know, it's just a little rant there, you know. So I'm just saying, like, thank you, Netflix, for giving me that little buffer. Screw you, Hulu. Give me some time, man. Give me some time. But that's neither here nor there. Moral of the story is we're going to have smart TVs hooked up for our guests so they can punch in their usernames, their passwords on whatever streaming platforms they like, right? We're not going to have to, like, provide a house streaming platform for them, but we do need to give them the smart TVs, the Wi-Fi, like the whole shebang, right? Dining room tables. We're going to have cookware, dinnerware. We do it all, right? We do it all, and that's how we provide that premium guest experience for these people, right? You're going to get big families going out there, right? Then you're not competing with motels and hotels where it's just one room here, right? You're getting, like, a whole big family, right? You probably got a couple parents, a couple kids, some brothers and sisters with some parents and kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get, like, a multi-generational family. So we need to deck everything out, give them all the good stuff. So to do all that, we're going to drop about $35,000. we are not buying them cheap crap, okay? You don't get to charge three seventy-five a night. Provide people with a large amount of disposable income, a beautiful vacation experience, and then get to go to, like, the dollar store and buy them junky stuff, all right? So all you cheap wads out there that are coming here because the properties are so much cheaper than where you live, that's great, but you can't cheap out on the guest experience. The guest experience is how we get the high amount of money. Like, my business, Holton Wise, we do a lot of low-income Section 8 rentals, right? If you're looking for the cheapest possible stuff, a lot of people come to this market for that stuff. That doesn't jive with a short-term rental, though, right? You can't run an effective short-term rental property business in a neighborhood where there's a bunch of Section 8 tenants. It just doesn't work that way, right? You need to provide these folks luxury experience, and that's absolutely what we're going to do. So what... The whole thing's gonna look like it's a total investment of 310, but you only need 103 750, folks. Right? It's gonna be 68 750 for your down payment, 35k for those furnishings. My team, we set it all up, right? So, by the way, if you don't even have the 35k up front, it's cool. You can pay with a credit card, right? That includes shipping, sales tax, setup, 
hooking up the Wi-Fi, the whole shebang, mounting the TVs on the walls. We're doing it all for you, right? It's completely passive, right? So you really only need 68 out of your pocket if you're using a credit card. But if you're not using a credit card, you're looking at 103000 We'll get you a lender to kick in the other 206 on a 30-year fixed interest, low interest, right? That would project out to a 36.5% cash-on-cash return, and you get yourself a brand new house. Think about it, right? Big ticket items, furnaces, AC units, roofs. Well, all those last about 30 years. So you're not replacing a roof. You're not replacing a furnace. You're not replacing an AC unit. Hot water tanks to last about 15. So if you if you hold this thing for 15 years, eventually you'll replace that. If you don't, you won't, right? These are great, like, 5 to 10-year holds. Probably get some appreciation. You're right there on the lake. A lot of things are popping over here. Like I said, if we're going to sell... Uh, we want to throw in a finished basement probably at that time. And guess what? Holton Wise could handle all that for you. So if you're feeling this deal, you want to get going. And if you have more questions before that, though, right, before you decide to make an offer, if you have more questions on, like, the property management fees and all this stuff, check out the fact on HoltonWise.com. Other than that, let me know if you are ready to make an offer and have my team manage this short-term rental for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.